Hello class, this is section 3.6. In this video, we are going to discuss resonance in oscillating mechanical systems. Just a brief refresher on uh, how we model mechanical systems that oscillate. So we have here a simple, you can think of it as a mass spring system, where m is the mass of the object, c is the friction coefficient, k is the spring constant, and ft is an external force. If you need a refresher on how to get how we got this equation, please consult the videos in section 3.4. In the previous videos, we always had ft equals zero because we only knew how to handle um, homogeneous equations. Now we, in this section, we can deal with some interesting problems where ft is not zero. And let's look at one of them. This is a uh, undamped system, so there's no friction coefficient, there's no damping, and this system is experiencing some external force, and uh, this external force is in the form of a vibration. So we have uh, F0 cosine omega t, so there's a vibration happening in the system. We want to figure out what's going on, so we need to solve, we're going to try to solve for x here, and to do that, we first have to solve the homogeneous equation homogeneous equation is going to be mx prime plus kx equals zero. We make our usual substitution, x equals ERT, to get mr squared plus k equals zero. And this just gets us, we don't even have to use a quadratic equation here. This equals to r equals square root of minus k over m or in other words, r equals, sorry, r equals plus minus this, plus minus i root of k over m. And this implies that our general solution for the homogeneous, our complementary solution is going to be c1. So we have a no real part and we have a imaginary part of root km. So we can just write down c1 cosine root km t plus c2 sine root of km t. This will be our the solution for our homogeneous equation. Let's just define this term here as our natural frequency. So omega naught equals root k over m. This is called our natural frequency. That is a terrible handwriting. And that's to contrast with our omega, which is our external frequency. Omega is, of course, the omega in the external force here. So the function has a natural frequency and also has a vibration acting on it. So let's uh, try to solve for the particular solution. Let's use the undetermined coefficients technique to solve it here. It seems like a pretty easy problem. So we have mx squared plus kx equals f naught cosine omega t. So we guess that x equals a cosine omega t. So x prime is equal to minus a omega sine omega t. And x double prime is going to be minus a omega squared, should be omega, cosine omega t. So typically for trigonometric functions, you want to add a plus b sine over here. But since there's no x prime term, the sign never appears, so we don't have to. What happens now is that we have... Oh, sorry. Plugging this into the equation, we have minus m omega squared a cosine omega t plus k a cosine omega t equals f naught cosine 
omega t. So we can cancel out all the cosines from all three all sides. And what we have is just minus m omega squared equals, sorry, plus ka equals f naught. Or in other words, f naught over k minus m omega squared. This is f naught over m for k m minus omega squared. But we defined k over m as omega naught. So this is just equal to f naught over m over omega naught squared minus omega squared. So our solution is going to be this um, x is just going to be this a cosine omega t. So think about the graph of this function. And what happens, so we have a cosine, so we have a, vib we have a vibration, so we have our little vibration like that with amplitude a. So think what happens when omega naught and omega are the same. If omega naught is around the same as omega, this a becomes huge, gigantic, and bad things happen, like bridges collapse, glass breaks, people die. This physical concept is known as resonance, when the external frequency matches the natural frequency of the object, you tend to have really, really huge oscillations. And a big part of this section is going to be to determine when these resonances happen so engineers and physicists can avoid them.